Okay, here I am for the last part, part three. This is going to be my steel books. Obviously, if you haven't seen part one and part two, I'll put the links down below. Please go and check them out. And uh, yeah, you can see all my Blu rays and my TV shows and my box sets. This one's going to be the shortest part because I haven't got that many steel books, but I have got some really nice ones. So I'm going to get straight into them, showing you what I've got. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And uh, yeah, so the first one is the steel book for Elysium. This is actually the the Italian version is limited to 1,000. Uh, I have actually got the ticket here. My number is 28 out of 1,000, so it's a really no, low number and uh, some really nice hard work inside too. So really happy to have this still book. The film is really good as well. It's by the same director as District 9. I enjoy both films, but I don't have the other one on still book. So yeah, Elysium. Okay, this one is probably if not my favourite, then definitely in the top three, There Will Be Blood, starring Daniel Day-Lewis, an amazing film, and this still book is really nice with sort of the red. And uh, I haven't opened this because it is one, it's probably one of the most, uh, you know, valuable still books in my collection, and I just didn't want to open it. I've got it on DVD, I should really upgrade to Blu-ray, uh, you know, a normal standard Blu-ray, but a really nice still book, and really happy to have this in my still book collection. Okay, this one I haven't opened up either because, you know, uh, you know, if I don't really need to open to watch them because I've got them on Blu-ray or DVD, I'll try and keep them sealed if I can. And this is The Last Stand with this really sort of uh, limited edition artwork, like, drawn on. It's really nice. And the film, once again, I really enjoyed it. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <coughs> okay, this steel book I was actually given to by Chris Blue 007 uh, Thank you very much. The film is not, in my opinion, very good at all, but the steel book's beautiful. It's like... Uh, well, it's called Ultraviolet, so it's got this sort of violet colour all the way through, and the artwork's really nice, and it's got a really nice matte finish. So, yeah, another great steel book. Okay, 21, 22 Drum Street. I have seen 21 Drum Street, but I haven't seen the sequel. It's sealed. I don't know, I just didn't feel like opening it. Maybe I should open it and watch it, because I haven't seen the sequel, and I've heard quite good things about it. Uh, yeah, so that's another nice steel book. This is another one I got from Chris Blue 007. This is Crimson Peak. Really, really good film. Absolutely love it. Directed by Guillermo del Toro. And uh, yeah, the still book's really nice. All black throughout, but it's got this sort of blue and red sort of colouring and artwork. So yeah, really, really nice. I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Okay, another of my favourite movies. This is uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I have this on DVD and uh, Blu-ray and also on Steelbook, so that's the reason I haven't opened it. It's a really nice one, and I actually got this from Geek Legion of Doom, so thank you very much. And uh, yeah, a film that I've loved since I was a kid, and I will always love, so I've got to have this in my Steelbook collection. Another great movie, this is V for Vendetta, once again sealed, I haven't opened it. This is actually quite limited now. I don't know how much it's worth, but it is going for quite a bit on, on eBay, and uh, it's got this sort of embossing on the title, and it's a... Uh, Another great film which I which I love. Yeah, most of the still books in my collection are sort of my favourite films. Okay, this is Star Trek the original, uh, the original film from the new sort of reboot, and it's uh, it's quite a simple still book. It's just got the two characters on it, and uh, yeah, but it's nice to have in my collection. I actually also got that from Geek Legion of Doom. Okay, Kick Ass, great movie. This is the UK a limited edition still book, which is like a horizontal one. Got really nice artwork all the way through, and uh, I don't know if you're able to see it very well, but the artwork inside is really nice as well. So yeah, got to have this in my collection. Kick ass for a film. Okay, this one's classic steel book, uh, Gone with the Wind, with this sort of really nice artwork on the front. It looks like it's painted on, and on the back it's got like a really nice image from the film. So yeah, really good. I absolutely love this film. It is long. But yeah, I really enjoy it and to have this in Steelbook, and especially with all this nice artwork, I'm really happy. Okay, the next two actually gifts from my father, or the next three, sorry. Uh, the, day I, the Day the Earth Stood Still, this is the original. The Steelbook is very... it does have inside artwork, you can see there. But it is quite simple, you know, on the back it's just sort of uh, grey. But the film's good and it's, you know, one of these classic sci-fi, so I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Okay, one I actually rewatched the other night, Goosebumps. Uh, you know, I loved the you know the Goosebumps TV show as a kid, so it was great, great watching this as the film. You know, I really enjoyed it. The only thing I don't like about the Steelbook is that it's only got the title 
on the spine. And, you know, I would prefer to have you know somewhere on the front, but the artwork's nice and it's a, it's a really nice steel book. So yeah. Okay, the next one isn't actually a Blu-ray, so I'm cheating. It's a DVD, but I wanted to show it off because it is a steel book, and it's uh, the steel book to the Aviator, which I've also got on Blu-ray. But the, I got this from my father, and basically it's got loads of bonus features. You know, really nice, uh, really good documentary and things like that, which the Blu-ray edition doesn't have. And I also didn't open the Blu-ray edition, so I've got this on Steelbook on DVD and Blu-ray. But this one is the one that's what I can uh, watch all the bonus features on. And it's a really simple but really nice uh, Steelbook. And then, as I said, this is the the Blu-ray Steelbook, which is still sealed, which is the Aviator. Really, really good film. Definitely one of my favourite Scorsese movies. And once again, this this steel book is, you know, it's not worth loads of money, but it's, you know, worth more than a normal steel book. Okay. E.T. Got to have this in my collection, and this steel book's really nice. You know, it's all silver all the way through. On the front, the image is nice. On the back, the image is nice. So, got to have this in my collection. It's one of the first I picked up. Uh, the only thing is, it's got like the Blu-ray symbols down here and the Universal, which I don't like. But apart from that, the still looks really, really beautiful. Okay, another one I got from uh, Chris Blue 007, Attack the Block. It's an amazing sort of horror sci-fi from the UK. Definitely underrated. And the still book's got this sort of darkest green. I think this is actually the German edition, I think. And uh, yeah, really, really nice still book. It is one of the still books that got the synopsis on the back, which is, you know, at the start they started doing it, but people sort of didn't like it, so they've stopped. But I don't really mind that. Really nice still book. Definitely check out Attack the Block if you haven't seen it. <coughs> okay, this was another gift from my father, because he knows I love still books. This is my only 4K uh, movie I've got in my collection. It comes with a 4K and obviously the normal Blu ray. It's uh, Labyrinth, you can see in this really, really nice still book. The artwork's absolutely amazing. And on the back, it's got some really nice artwork. And on the inside, you can't really see it if I don't take out the discs, but it's got the whole labyrinth there in the image. If you can get that out of the glare. So yeah, really, really nice steel book. And when I eventually get a 4K TV and a 4K player, I will be able to watch that in 4K. Okay, and last but definitely not least is the, the Kimchi DVD uh, Perfume Edition. Another one of my favourite films, and I would really wanted to pick this up. Uh, you know, from Kimchi DVD because it comes with this really nice slip cover with some beautiful art. I don't know if you can really see there, but it's sort of got shiny, uh, well, shiny artwork all the way through. I don't know if you can make that out. And it comes with this sort of slip box, which I'll take out. And you get a really, really nice book with, you know, some loads, loads of artwork in it. And then you've got the steel book itself here, which is also, you know, really, really nice steel book. With some really beautiful art. And the inside. It comes with uh, art cards, which are really good, and then the image of the you know the last scene in the film. So yeah, really, this is probably my favourite steelbook in the whole collection. Not because it was the most expensive, but because it comes you know with a, such a great book, some uh, art cards, and you know this sort of a uh, slip box, which is really really beautiful. So there you go, guys. Those are all my steelbooks, and I've now finished my complete Blu-ray collection in these three parts. So yeah. Do give this video a thumbs up, it really helped me out, and uh, subscribe if you haven't, and I really do hope that you enjoyed sort of seeing all of my collection. If I can, next week I will be doing my complete DVD collection, but that would be just in one video because, you know, I haven't got as many DVDs as I have Blu-rays. So look out for that one, and uh, thanks again guys, take care.